Hey what's up everyone, welcome to Effects Maniac, this is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri again. Welcome to another cool tutorial. I'll show you guys how to create a sort of post-apocalyptic uh, scene environment. So this is basically what we want to do. Yeah, so that was basically it. And this was actually inspired by an image that I saw somewhere and I, I got the idea to do it. So I think it's looking pretty cool and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Uh, but before getting in there, if you're new to my channel, you're very welcome to subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And if you want to support me doing more tutorials and free content for you guys, plus some bonus project files and stuff, make sure to support me on my Patreon page. All right, so let's get started. Uh, I'm just going to walk through the scene that I have here, so it's pretty simple. Uh, I have this uh, clay shading, so I'm just going to go to default shading. Uh, I have this uh, car model here, which is our sort of a hero object. So I've got this car model uh, that is there, and uh, I got some destroyed models of some truck, a plane here, and... Uh, I've got another sort of car destroyed along with some objects and stuff. So you want to place those elements in the background and I have a tree which uh, obviously I've used from the extended, sorry, AC extended foliage and I'm just going to bring this oaked tree here. So just like that. And the next thing I have some poles here. Uh, you know, and you just want to place random objects on your scene. And if I hit C, here is my camera view, which I'm also going to go to default shading. Uh, I have the scene, and you just want to look through your camera shot and play as much elements as necessary to be able to have something like this and something that looks cool. You know, the more elements that you add, the more cooler it's going to look, right? So, just like that and the lighting to just give it a bit more like more of a dramatic feel and I added some rain in After Effects which is uh, you know very simple so just like that and uh, talking about the volume lights and the sky and the grass so I'm just gonna go back into 3D Studio Max and obviously for the grass I've used Tyflow so it's a very simple setup here I've got my plane here and I'm just gonna go to Tyflow here very simple setup. I've birthed some objects, 60,000 of these plants, zero to zero, start time. And I just gave them three basic shades of grass because I don't want them to look like, you know, I don't want them to be similar. So I have a darker one, a saturated one, and a sort of lime grass. So I've, I gave them like three materials. And then I gave them a scale for the scale of obviously and position object to be on the plane which the plane also has a grass texture that I've downloaded from the internet and used it here so uh, combined they don't look you know I mean when you render this out it doesn't look because of the volume light and stuff so yeah it's a, it's a very simple setup with Tyflow and then talking about the sky here I've actually got a sky dome light here so if I go to my selection filters I'm just gonna select this light here and under the light I've set this to dome and for the texture I'm using this texture so if I drag this here which is already there so I'm just gonna double click and view image I have this uh, 360 degrees panorama of the sky which is also an HDR uh, which is perfect for lighting so you can see it's got a lot of detail so you know it is just gonna wrap around your scene in a 360 degree sort of angle and yeah that's what I use for the sky and it's pretty pretty self-explanatory so just like that and you can increase or decrease the multiplier for the intensity of the light and coming to the sort of most important part of this which is this volume light and it's actually very simple so I've just went and created a V-Ray disk light so I'm just gonna do it from scratch so you guys can see it go ahead into the V-Ray and create a disk light here and just move it up so what I did was I just sort of placed it on the lights 
light parts of the car and I just rotate it like this and in order to create this type of effect you can just go ahead and set it to target it so the target is actually here and I'm actually going to go into the directional and give it some direction and also go into the where is it preview always yeah so you can see that you, you can actually physically see the direction of that light so you can increase it or decrease it so the more wide you want it to be you can go ahead and do that but I made it very small so just scale it down and then you can also you know increase or decrease the sort of directionality of that light so I've added two and I've also added one from the top of the car in order to sort of make it look like the inside is also bright so yeah I think it's looking really nice here and it will sort of create this sort of you know when there's volume light you will have these volume light that is actually lighting up the scene so it looks pretty nice and now talking about the render settings uh, which are very simple as well so I'm just gonna go into the render setup and you know I've I have a 1280 by 720 because that was taking a lot of time probably like what 10 minutes per frame uh, I set my type image sampler to bucket and the minimum subdiffs to 3 and the noise threshold to be 0 0.002 because uh, it had a lot of noise and the, the less this number is the less noise you're gonna have but the more time it's gonna take to process and render and for the global illumination I've used Irdance Map and Light Cache set the preset to medium and for the light cache I'm using these many subdivs so you can see it here and the most important part here is you want to go to the render elements add a VRA denoiser because it can help you a lot with denoising the shot because especially if you have a nighttime shot and you have these volume lights it's going to have a lot of noise but this VRA denoiser is going to help you tremendously in reducing the noise so you can see here especially we don't have a lot of noise I mean because of the video compression it may look like it has but it doesn't so yeah and those are basically the render settings that I have used and let's see what else we are left with so I don't want this light that we've created so I'm just gonna delete it here alright so let's see here anything else that we may have not covered I've also added a V-Ray plane because I wanted to have like an infinite sort of plane that covers everything but even though you know the horizon is just you know in line with this panorama with this HDR so it doesn't you know it doesn't really look it looks like an infinite plane uh, and then um, I've added a camera and gave it some camera motion to zoom in and I have another camera which is not actually here so I have a shot from here actually so it just goes and you know does that stuff we have some floating things I mean which I've deleted in the final scene but yeah so it's actually part of the uh, this object so make sure to delete them I have done it in the original example but in here it's just like a previous version of the file so yeah that is basically how you create a simple environment I mean it it looks complicated but it actually is not so you just set up your camera and you know do your animation and then you just add more and more objects and you start layering them to actually make it look even better and make it look more complicated but then the concept is there right so according to your concept you can add different elements and you know there you go render them out add some cool music and sound effects and yeah that's it all right so this was the today's tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it hope you learned something from it and hopefully it have inspired you to go ahead and create your own sort of environments and enjoy them and if you have make sure to like this video uh, comment down below and let me know what you think and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, if you want to have the project files for these tutorials and some other bonus stuff uh, and tutorial requests you can go ahead and support me on my patreon so thank you very much 
this was the today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, enjoy working.